Jump King is a skill-based game that is pretty hard to complete, so I was thinking why shouldn't I create my own and make it even harder? I began by stealing some graphics of the king from the internet so that I have a basic character. But I didn't want to make the same game as the original one, just a jump king. So I thought, what could I add to it? Well, the first thing that came into my mind is a pogo stick. So we have a jump king with pogo stick. I have created really simple pogo stick, just a square and added a script to the player. In the script, I have made a private void pogo jump. So when I'm pressing space and the player is grounded, is grounded is a boolean which we will create soon. Then I'm just setting the jump force which is changing depending on for how long I have been pressing the space. So if I am pressing the space for one second, it should have the maximum output. Then I have also made a boolean jump charging, which I am setting to true. And if we are not holding space, I am setting it to false. The private bool is grounded is a pretty simple. It is just returning a bool based on the circle cast. So we are just checking if the pogo stick is actually on the ground. Back in the private void pogo jump, I have another condition. If the player is grounded and the jump force is greater than zero and the jump is not charging, so this all means that we should jump. Here I'm just setting some limits of a slider joint, which we will later add to the pogo stick, which will allow us to have some nice movement of the pogo stick. So if the jump force is less than four, I have made it this way because when the jump force was low, then the pogo stick was absorbing all of the power from the jump. So if the jump force is less than four, then I'm setting the maximum limits to just some number. This probably doesn't tell you a lot, but it is the formula that I came up with. Else if the jump force is greater than four, then it is just the maximum limits of the pogo stick. We just assign the limits to the joint and then I'm adding a relative force which will actually make the player move. I'm setting the jump force to zero and starting a coroutine pogo motor reset. The coroutine looks like this, it is pretty simple. We just wait for some time and then we reset the limits of the joint. Next thing that is pretty crucial is the rotation of the player. So again, I have made a private void. Here I'm calculating mouse position, just camera, that screen, word to point. Then I am calculating angle between the mouse position and the player. Now here I had some problems with the angles because when you have your mouse on the left part of the screen, I think the values are between minus 90 and 90. But when you are getting the rotation using the Euler angles, it is number between 0 and 360. So when the angle current is greater than 180 degrees, then I just subtract 360 from it, otherwise I set it to the angle current. And if the angle is less than the angle current, it means we have to rotate it to the left, so I set the torque to minus 10, otherwise I set it to 10, so we rotate to right. Then I am setting a float angle difference, because I want to make it that the bigger the difference of the angle is, then the faster the rotation will be, and if it is smaller difference, it will be slower. So I just take the absolute volume from the angle current minus angle, and then I'm adding torque to the rigid body of the player, which is the torque multiplied by the angle difference divided by 90, because 90 is the maximum degrees in which it will rotate to one or to the other side. Here you can see one of my very first prototypes. I know it looks pretty ugly and it is a very bad experience to play as the Jump King or I should say Pogo King, but later we will make it look better and also feel better. So I have done a bit more fine tuning with the movement, rotation and all of that stuff. So I think that now it is time to add some textures. I went to the asset store and downloaded some of the pixel art packs from the Shadi Art, which looks pretty cool. I imported all of the art into a tile map, that way I could easily edit the map, but I had a problem with the colliders. I thought that the colliders would automatically align to the sprite of the tile, but this didn't happen. You can see that the colliders are bigger than the sprites itself. But luckily I have found a way how you can make custom collisions even for the tile map. 
So you can go into sprite editor of your tiles and then when you select custom physics shape, you can actually draw the shape of the collider for each tile. So I have repeated the same process for multiple of the tiles, which took me some time. But I think it was worth it, because the result is pretty good. I have done a bit more level design, added some platforms, and you can see that now it is a working prototype of the game, but obviously I will be adding a lot more graphics, levels, and so on. And one of the main things that is still missing is the pogo stick. So I went to the asset right and utilized my best art skills to create this. Yeah, it doesn't look the best, but I think it suits the kink pretty well. And now I have actually added the slider joint to the pogo stick, which allows us a lot better movement of the pogo stick. So I set all of the limits and properties of the slider joint and pogo stick itself so that it is working the best. I had to do a lot of testing of the code, the pogo stick, the player and all of that stuff, but finally I got it working. And here you can see me standing on the platform and I can make small jumps, so the pogo stick is moving just slightly, but when I charge for a bigger jump, you can see that we still fall and we have to go again to the top. But I think that the movement of the pogo stick is pretty satisfying and it works well. Next thing that I quickly added was the universal render pipeline so that I could add some lights to the scene. And here you can see the final result. I have added some background, done a bit more level design and I think that it looks pretty realistic. The pogo stick is moving as it should be and I hope that I will be able to make more levels and make them harder so that way it is even harder than the original game. In next videos I will definitely be adding more levels to this game, but also some troll parts so that it is even harder for the player, some moving platforms, some secret places that you have to find and a lot more interesting stuff, so I hope that you will enjoy it. I will also be giving you the Unity project for download so that you can create your own maps and check out how I made it. If you have any questions drop them down in the comments, don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye!